guys my name is Omoyega Loat Sosi in this video today I'll be showing you how to draft cut and stitch this pencil sketch with a phone dream this is a sketch you can wear anywhere I mean anywhere the office the church the gathering I said anywhere it just depend on your creativity and taste I said taste and the fabrics you can use is not limited to Ankara or Ankara, Ankara mean African points or crepe alone. You can use any kind of fabric depending on what you're really working on. Do you understand? Without further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. The materials and tools you'll be needing for this tutorial is this African print, and I got. A machine crepe for it as well and this machine crepe is what I'll use for the front drip I got a lining a black lining that match the skirts I make sure you get a machine thread as well I have my tape measures my chalk I also have my rollers my fabric scissors and that's all I've gone ahead to cut my fabric and place it on fold. The width of the fabric that I've folded here is half of my hip circumference measurement plus seam allowance. And the length of this skirt measures 18 inches. Remember we have 2 inches for the band. That's why I'm extending the table. So I'm going to be marking half an inch from the top edge of the fabric. And I'm going to go a line across my mark points. And this is where all our vertical measurements will be taken from. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be marking my hip line from the waistline. My hip line from the waistline is 8 inches. Remember we have 2 inches for the band. I'm going to be placing that 2 inches on the waistline before marking my hip line. You mark points and you rule a line across that mark point. That is my hip line. The next thing you are going to do is to apply your measurements. I'm going to be marking quarter of my waist measurement plus one inch that allowance on the waistline the chalk is too small that's why it's giving me a problem and on the hip line i'm going to be marking quarter of my hip circumference measurements On the M line, I'm going to be marking my one and a half inches from the bottom edge of the skirt, like so, of the fabric, like so. And I'm going to be ruling across those mark points. I always do this when I work with the M of the skirt. I'm going to be folding the M before applying my measurement. Fold it like this, they m allowance of the skirt i make sure you pin down is either you press it with an iron or you pin down so i'm going to pin down Whatever measurement you have on the hip line, you are going to minus one inch on the M line like this. Then 
we have 10 inches there i'm going to mark in nine on the m line before going in with my french curve to connect that part to the hip line like this So the next thing you are going to do from here is going to add your seam allowance. So I work with one inch, mostly one inch seam allowance. You can do half an inch, you can do one and a half inch, you can do two inch, depending on what your clients want or what you always work with. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be cutting this. always notch that point as well so remember that the waistline is not always straight and so before i curve that part i'm going to mark in my dart placement i'm going to mark in half of my nipple to nipple measurement like this and i'll move down half an inch from the waistline the center front of the waistline Now curve it to meet the side seam. Make sure you curve it the way I'm curving it because the center front of the waist is not always straight. You add your half inches seam allowance. I'm going to connect this to the half inches at the top there. So that's for that. I went ahead to cut the part that we don't need in our skirts. And make sure you always notch your dart placements. And we are done with cutting the first part of the skirts. And this is what you should have even if you are working with a length that is longer than what we have here and for the back i went ahead to go our one inch zipper allowance and you're not going to do much here you are going to just place your front part of the skirt on the back like this and the next thing you are going to do is to cut it out you are not going to do much just cut Transfer the dart notch to the back as well. And you slit the center back. Because that is where we are going to place our zipper. These are all our pattern pieces. I've cut the front and the back, and also my band. I have a matching zip for it. And this is my band. I went ahead to iron and interface it to the wrong side of the band, and I folded it. And this burnt orange will help with the drape part of the skirt, the front drape. And I've also gone ahead to cut our lining. The, my lining is one inches shorter than the main skirt. Remember, my lining is always half an inch seam allowance. So the first thing you are going to do, you are going to sew the dart. You stitch the dart. I've gone ahead to stitch and iron the dart. And this is what you should also have. Make sure you always iron your dart. I also did the same thing for the lining. So the next thing you are going to do after stitching your dart is to sew the side seam.
the next thing I'm going to do is to place the front and back skirts together side seam to side seam and right side to right side before taking it to the sewing machine and stitch together and please do the same for the lining as well After stitching, take the skirt to your iron table and give it a nice press. At this point, this is what your skirt should be looking like after giving it a nice press. I did the same for the lining piece as well. The next thing you are going to do, you are going to fix a zip to the center back of the skirt like so. Once I'm done, I'll show you what the skirt is looking like. <coughs> I've gone ahead to fix my zip and this is what we have. The next thing you are going to do, you are going to be stitching the lining to the deeper part of the skirt. Using the lining to conceal the seam allowance, the zipper part of the center back. Watch what I'm doing here. I'm going to place right side to right side, like so. And I'm going to stitch up to the point where the stopper is and once you are done you will see that the you have a neat finishing at this point so i'm going to take it to my same machine and that's what i'm going to do next I've gone to stitch this lining to the zip and this is what you should have. You can see that the zipper part has been concealed inside the lining. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be stitching the many parts of the center back up to the point where the zipper ends. So once I've done, I'll show you what we have. I saw the center back and I gave it a nice press. This is what you should have at this point. You can see where the stitches end. So you flip it over like the way I'm doing now. You can see how neat 
our skirt is at this point. The next thing you are going to do from here is to stitch the hem of the lining to the hem of the main fabric. Remember that the lining has an half inch seam allowance while the main fabric has one and a half inch seam allowance. Finish side seam to side seam, you flip it over to the wrong side and then you take it to your machine to stitch it together. Watch what I'm doing <coughs> at this point. After stitching the fabric to the lining, this is what you should have. You can see how neat the skirt is at this point. I'm going to take this to my iron cable and give it a nice press. Make sure you iron very well. And it is advisable to use a steam iron. So I've done that. The next thing you are going to do is to stop stitch the lining to the main fabric at the waistline before going ahead to fix your band. The next thing you are going to do from this point is to top stitch the lining to the fabric. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to top stitch it. This will help you put the fabric at ease when you are stitching your band to the skirt. I've done that. I'm trimming off unwanted threads. And after you are done top stitching, you are going to be sewing your band to the waistline of the skirt. And if you don't know how to prep and sew a waistband to your skirt or your pants, I'm going to be dropping the link in the description box. And I've gone ahead to sew my waistband and fix my zip to the back of the skirt. And this is what our skirt is looking like at this point. And this is what you should have to if you follow everything I did in this video. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to introduce our burnt orange crepe fabric that we are going to use for the drape design at the center front of the skirt. Ensure that your manicure or your client is putting on the skirt before going ahead to drape the crepe on the skirt. Make sure you find the midpoint of the fabric and place the midpoint at the center front of the skirt like this. You pin it down. 
This way you have distributed the drape fabric evenly. So you go ahead to just drape it like the way I'm doing it in the video. Before taking it to the machine and stitch the drape part to the skirt. I've done draping and stitching that bunch orange fabric to the center front of my skirt and this is what we have. And if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumb up, like and share my video. Feel free to tag a submit. And if you have any tutorial requests, the comment section is there. Just leave a comment. I'll be there to review it. And don't forget to follow me on all of my social media accounts.